Quantum Zen is a state of mind that maximizes your potential through a combined state of Zen and quantum focus. In this advanced state of mind, your reflexes, thoughts, and movements are all enhanced through properly synergizing your mind. This is not attained through expanding your consciousness, however, quite the opposite. You see, 95% of our brain expands beyond our conscious mind and serves the true powerhouse behind all our executive decisions. Therefore, conscious awareness actually just limits us in several key ways. For starters, your reflexes bypass your conscious awareness entirely, only making you aware of the reflex as it is already in motion. The reflex arcs that are responsible for this and what is also colloquially known as muscle memory, don't involve conscious awareness at all. And so trying to insert your conscious will, will, at best, only serve to delay the act. This is because of the approximately 500 millisecond difference between you consciously being aware of something and acting and reacting reflexively through your reflex arcs. And many modern shooters 500 milliseconds is enough time to get killed twice over. Speaking of seconds, your decisions have all already been decided up to 10 seconds before your awareness of them, so there's little point in attempting to consciously think up a decision on the spot. Furthermore, restricting your options only to what you are consciously thinking limits you to only fully actualized thoughts and therefore cuts you off from all the remaining options that exist in the quantum void of your subconscious prior to you trying to decide what to do. For these reasons and more, it is very easy for this 5% conscious part of your brain to actually become a constraint that slows down your overall decision making and reaction time. Instead, by allowing yourself to step down and assume the role of the observer while your remaining subconscious mind takes up the mantle you are maximizing the potential for your own quantum thinking. It is no big secret in science that the mind has the ability to think quantumly, and it is this that gives us such a massive advantage over conventional computers. Only the more recently minted quantum computers could ever hope to match our own computing ability. There are two key aspects to quantum thinking. The first is the ability to hold two or more decisions in an indeterministic superstate called the void prior to that decision being made in real time. The second is synergizing these thoughts and decisions across the parallel realities occurring simultaneously with our own. Without getting into the quantum theory behind it that will acquire its own future video, the end result is any individual in a state of quantum zen can only be stopped by an overwhelming force as they both act and react faster than normally human and make superior on the fly decisions overall. Once in this state of mind, only equals also in a state of quantum zen will be able to rival them. Put another way, the average Joe in a hypothetical state of quantum zen would still meet a decisive end against a pro, but anyone who would have matched them in a non-Zen state would now be at a massive disadvantage. So, how then does one enter such a powerful state of mind? The first thing to note is the degree of competency required before you can enter the state of quantum Zen, regardless of the craft. While the powerful effect of quantum zen increases exponentially with your general skill and expertise, only baseline competence need be established in the first place. Without this basic level of competence, however, your conscious mind will not be in a relaxed enough state to resign itself to an observer role, even for a moment. Naturally, the greater the stakes and the greater your interest, the harder it will be to enter and sustain quantum zen. Your conscious state becomes increasingly stubborn as it falsely concludes that taking full control is the best course of action. One's own ego does have a role in all this, as the notion of giving up direct control over a crucial outcome even to the remaining 95% of your mind does not come naturally. Nonetheless, 
letting go of your ego is hardly required, as you can simply grow accustomed to trusting the aspects of yourself beyond the limited scope of your conscious awareness through real-world positive experiences, thereby reinforcing your self-confidence under pressure. Now that that is out of the way, Quantum Zen requires you to be in a state of flow prior to transitioning into a state of Quantum Zen. This state of flow is best described as feeling totally absorbed and completely immersed in the task at hand. This state of mind can and does occur naturally. Potential indicators of this would be ducking or leaning in real life when things occur in game, losing track of time, feeling in the zone, negligible attention given to events outside the task at hand, and dreaming about the task at night. Being in a flow state beforehand is so vital because of the immense brain bandwidth that Quantum Zen demands. Your brain can process data no faster than 60 bits per second. For a point of comparison, just for us to process speech alone takes up to 39 bits per second, so there isn't as much overhead as one would think, especially when you consider how the human eye alone throws 10 million bits of information at your brain every second. By being so fully engrossed, you are doubling or even tripling the share of your brain's bandwidth at your disposal compared to only being casually interested. Now that you're armed with that knowledge, to ascend from a flow state into a state of quantum zen, you must detach your conscious awareness from the events unfolding in real time. Your conscious mind will always plead desperately for something to focus on, as even Tibetan monks deep in the throes of meditation do not achieve this trance-like state through merely focusing on nothing. They focus on the breath, on their mantras, or the sound of a bell. For the purposes of achieving this state, it matters not so much what preoccupies your conscious mind, but simply that it isn't trying to helm your decisions and actions. An ideal end state has your conscious riding shotgun, observing and experiencing the present to paint a mental picture of the future. This is extraordinarily difficult to do without your conscious mind gripping back the metaphorical wheel, especially in a pressured scenario. Further still, sustaining this state for long singular durations isn't desirable. When you burn out and can no longer willingly coax your own conscious mind, this is usually the combined result of remaining in an extended state in a situation bringing yourself into doubt. This state of self-doubt is incompatible with quantum zen as your conscious mind overcompensates for this doubt by exerting itself in an attempt to take responsibility over the situation. Unfortunately, any situation so overwhelming as to trigger this would only become even more dire once you are out of this state, leading to a negative feedback loop that only leads to a choke when it matters most. By entering quantum zen when the situation demands and exiting when it does not, you become a pendulum that merely swings in the opposite direction whenever stopped by an outside force, rather than a powerful wave that inevitably crashes itself in the smithereens. Perfecting the flow between these states requires a level of self-coordination that is at first unnatural to many, as you cannot simply will yourself into a state of quantum zen any more than you can simply force yourself to relax. You can only willingly open and close the curtain, not control the performer. In future videos, I will detail various triggers and scenarios that can help induce this state. With time, you will become so familiar that while you still cannot merely will yourself into the state, you can manipulate and thus anticipate with high accuracy when it occurs. To summarize, to enter a state of quantum zen, you must first fully engross yourself into the activity and then detach yourself consciously from the events unfolding before you. You can willingly exit this state at any time but sustained duration can cause you to burn out and be unable to enter the state altogether once you've been forced out of it. On a final side note, while preoccupying your mind in a way that still serves the task at hand offers the most benefit, substantial benefit is still gained with your conscious mind focusing elsewhere entirely. 
like on any music playing, your breathing, a podcast, or even simple enthrallment with the sensation of being in a state of quantum zen. Thanks for tuning in. This is Void Hunt Geo 3, signing out.